So we got everybody standing around the, around the rig, uh, looking at us here. What are we running here tonight? So <laughs> this is an ICOM 7610, and we're running about 600 watts uh, with the amplifier. So uh, back to you, uh, WA3 VJB, W3 I remember the call, W3 USR. Uh, very good. Whiskey 3, United States Radio, from WA3, Victor Juliet Bravo. I think you have it right. The name is Paul. Hello to everybody there in the room. I was telling Ed that I'm a past president of W3EAX, which is the University of Maryland Radio Club that dates back to 1933. So 90 years ago, 91 years ago, uh, that's the president, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wish you the best of luck in organizing your club there and keeping it on the air with an enthusiastic body of students to run the place. Yeah, the, uh, the rig sounds fine. I'm making a recording of it right now, as a matter of fact. Hopefully, uh, W3USR has listed an email address on its QRZ.com profile, and I will mail this to you as a sound file to let you hear how it sounds. The cool kids on AM hang out from about 72, 76 on up to the top of the band. So if you have an opportunity to put some people on with a, a good human sounding audio, this is the place to be, uh, especially for some of the storytelling about your projects there in the science realm. Like to hear some of that. So Whiskey 3 USR, WA3 VJB, back to you, Ed. Yeah, Paul, uh, thanks very much. Okay, really great cue, so. And, and thanks for being there. We were just sort of tuning around the band, and there you were, and I got shot for AM. I haven't I worked AM in a long, long time, so you sort of whetted my appetite uh, to do a little bit more when I get back to the home PTH. So uh, our QR address is good, so uh, they'll be looking for uh, a copy of the recording, which I think would be great in terms of testing out the station. So I'll leave it to you for any finals, my, my friend. Uh, WA3, uh, VJB. Uh, W3 USR, 73 ball. Okay, and before you go, for the logbook, let me get your call letters as well, Brick. Yeah, fine. Okay, my home call. Whiskey X-ray to Romeo. Whiskey X-ray to Romeo. And the name is Ed. Uh, the QTH is uh, Jupiter, Florida, and I'm splitting time between New Jersey, typical snowbird, uh, and uh, Jupiter, and we're heading back uh, down uh, around the 15th, weather permitting, of course. So but again, the call is WX2R. Back to you, Paul. Okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, Jupiter, Florida. Well, it's funny, you know, your call letters uh, remind me of an upcoming radio event from many, many years ago, and I know you'll remember it. The kids there probably won't, but War of the Worlds, Orson Welles. If you remember, there's a contact after the Martians have landed, and the call letters of the two stations that are trying to be in contact is uh, 8X3R and 2X2L. And as soon as you said WX2R, it's like, wow, listen, that's like War of the Worlds, man. <laughs> and, uh, so it's my pleasure to have worked you, Ed, in that context as well as we come close to Halloween. So a very good evening to you. Don't let any spooks get in the radio. And uh, once again, congratulations to everybody there in the room for putting another station on the air. I very much enjoyed my time at the club station is W3EAX. And maybe they'll be on the air someday to work you guys and get a handshake. W3USR, WA3VJB, clear with your radio, Ed. Take care, gentlemen. Yeah, fine business there, Paul. Great talking to you. And all the best to you down there, and hopefully catch you a little bit further down the log, uh, especially on AM. So, yes, and only in New Jersey. Only in New Jersey could the Martians land. So, uh, anyway, 73, uh, W3USR clear, 73. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly right. WA2OFC uh, listening in. WA2 Oscar Fox Charlie. And WA2OFC, very good evening to you. WA3VJB, we've worked before. Name here is Paul. Go ahead. Paul, well, uh, name is Jim here. I just wanted to quickly uh, say hello. I'm uh, cooking uh, food right now, but I. I was listening to the receiver here, and I heard that other station there. They're, they're, uh, you and the other station uh, from uh, New Jersey were coming in real good here. I'm on the old uh, Ranger right now. I haven't. I just turned the thing on. It may not be optimized, and I hear a hum coming out of it, uh, which I, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it might be getting into the mic. Um, 
I have a dynamic and a condenser mic, but I turned off the dynamic because of the hum. Uh, so hopefully it isn't too bad. Uh, name is Jim here in Buffalo. Uh, Paul, go ahead. Yeah, very good, Jim. Uh, did I work you at camp? Uh, did you um, have a camp set up the last time we talked? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, it might have been about a year ago, or maybe I was just uh, operating AM at a camp in uh, uh, the middle two weeks of September, and I worked a bunch of stations. I might have worked you, uh, possibly. Uh, there was uh, another station that uh, historic Connecticut station, V. The, the something Connecticut Museum of Antique Radio, uh, those guys were on and I had a long chat with them. It was in the afternoon, as I seem to recall, and I was operating on a, a pure battery setup with a dipole at 10 feet, and I was having some pretty good luck there. Uh, but that was what a Kenwood 2000. Uh, go ahead there, Paul. Yeah, I was part of that QSO. That was uh, Larry there, W1VCM, at the controls of the Vintage Communications and Radio Museum of Connecticut. Uh, or it could have been Bob, the retired assistant lab manager at the AWRL, WB1GCM. Uh, but yeah, the uh, W1VCM uh, station is very prominent on 40 meters. They've got a good setup. And I remember you checking in with, uh, I think it was an existing round table, from camp, and you you yourself were also doing quite well into Maryland, so welcome back home. I do hear what sounds like mechanical hum. It's mechanically coupled rather than uh, electrical hum coming in on an ungrounded line or a loop of some kind. It just sounds like a, a big transformer or a, a fluorescent light, you know, how the light tubes would glow and they'd make a bit of a buzz. It just sounds like that. It's it's under a couple percent. It's not really obnoxious or anything. I wouldn't worry about it. And generally, it seems a dynamic mic is less susceptible to picking up ambient noise like that than a condenser mic. I don't know what your experience is, uh, but most dynamic microphones are cardioid pattern, and they have some rejection capability off to the sides, where the condenser mic seems to be sensitive in all directions. And just picks up everything, crying babies, barking dogs, you name it in the room. So uh, it's not objectionable at all, Jim. It's not. So uh, I'm glad you checked in this evening to do so. I'm going to finish up this recording so I can post it to the club. As you overheard, the uh, station is new on the air. Ed has either come up from Florida or across from New Jersey to, to get on there. And I want to show the students that their station is... Uh, proven out and bona fide on the air. So if there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Otherwise, I think I'll, uh, I'll sign up so I can render this recording and uh, post it off. Good to hear you on from home there, Jim. Good signal. That's perfect, Paul. Yeah, I got to get back up and check my uh, oven operations here. Just one last thing here. Okay, this is the condenser mic, and now this is the uh, dynamic mic. A, a Behringer dynamic mic here, and here's the uh, condenser mic. Okay, uh, I'll let you go. I gotta check things, and it's, it's always great hearing you. Your signal is fantastic. I don't know what the heck that uh, strange stuff was on 95 there, but uh, anyway, have a great evening, Paul. Thanks for the uh, signal report. Yeah, the Behringer's the better mic. It had a lot more rejection capability, and uh, if I remember your email address, I'll send you the same recording. I just kept rolling, and you'll hear the difference. It dropped it down to under 1%, almost not audible, certainly nothing to comment on. So uh, my selection would be the dynamic mic with a little bit more gain and to go with it from there. Have a good dinner. Glad you gave us a call. I look for you again real soon. WA2OFC, Buffalo, New York, home of WKBW, the Jackson Armstrong Show, 1520. One of my favorites in the old days. WA3VJB Annapolis, clear with your radio. See you, Jim. Okay, Paul, thanks. By the way, KD, I walked on the world about 10 years ago, and I got a recording of it. Talk to you later.